Hello and welcome to the beginner's tutorial for Renoise. Over the course of this video, I will be guiding you through the more basic aspects of composing in Renoise by creating a very simple song. We will begin by loading in a sample. First, make sure the disk browser is open by clicking on it here and then click on the sample tab. If, like me, you find yourself in the wrong directory, you can simply use the library button. This will take you to the default Renoise directory. Now double click on samples to see the contents and click on kicks and over here you will now see the contents of the kicks directory. Double click on kick01 which will load it into the instrument selector and if you press Z on your keyboard you can now hear what the sample sounds like. So we have a sound and we can begin using it to create music. This is done over here in the pattern editor which might look quite complex but at the moment all you need to know is that this yellow box here is the cursor and this is what is used to enter notes into the pattern editor. In order to do this press escape on the keyboard, this enters you into edit mode shown by this red border and press Z on the keyboard. The note has been recorded and we shall begin by creating a simple 4-4 beat. This is done by moving up and down in the pattern editor with the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard and pressing Z on every fourth line. Every fourth line is shown by a highlight already so it should be easy to get them in there but if you make a mistake it's simply a case of moving up and pressing delete. Keep going until you reach the end of the pattern and you can play back what you've just entered by simply pressing spacebar. and press spacebar again to stop. Before we go any further we should change the BPM which is the speed of the song in beats per minute. There are a few ways of doing this, the first is to hover over the value box, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up and down. You can also use the arrow keys at the side here, clicking with the left mouse button moves it up and down by 1 and using the right mouse button moves it up and down by 10. You can also double click on the value box and enter it manually with the keyboard, finishing with enter. Whatever method you choose, let's set the BPM to 130. Now let's load in another instrument. First turn off edit mode by pressing escape again so that any button presses we make don't get recorded. Then select an empty slot in the instrument selector click on hi-hats and double click on hi-hat 01 to load it. Press Z again to hear the sound. We will be entering notes for the hi-hat on a separate track so you can move across by either using the left and right arrow keys or tab to skip from one track to another and shift and tab moves you backwards. Now move to the top of the pattern using either the slide bar at the side here or simply pressing F9. The hi-hats will be going on every offbeat, so use the arrow keys to move down to 2. And let's use a shortcut to make entering the notes quicker. Go up to edit step, set it to 4, enter edit mode with escape, and press Z. Now you'll notice that it moves down every 4 lines. This is especially useful for predictable rhythms like this, because now you can just hold down the key, and it will quickly fill up the pattern. We also need a snare drum, so let's load that in, select an empty slot, go over to snare, double click on snare 01, press escape so we don't record anything. That sounds a little high, so let's bring the octave here down to 3, and that sounds a lot more useful. Skip over to track 3 with tab, go to the top with F9, and we'll be placing the snare on every 8th line, so go down to 4, and let's change the edit step to 8. You can do this with a shortcut too. If you press control and a number, in this case 8, you will set the edit step to that number. Now press escape to enter edit mode and hold down Z. So we have three tracks now and at this point it can be worth renaming them. Just hover over the track number at the top, double click and you can now enter an entirely new name. So let's do that for all three of them. And you can also reorganize the track order. 
Just hover over the name again, hold down the left mouse button and move from side to side. Let's put the snare drum right there. Let's listen to the beat so far by pressing spacebar. Now skip over to the hi-hat track and we can solo it by either right clicking when it says play here or you can press S here and that solos the currently selected track. The hi-hat isn't too interesting at the moment so let's add a delay through the track DSP section down here which contains all of the effects that Renoise has natively. Double click on delay and you can hear it instantly adds it to the track. This is one of the reasons why we have different samples on different tracks. As you can listen now, none of the other sounds have the delay added to them because only this track has the delay. Let's add something else interesting, a flanger. Double click on that and you can see it's been added after the delay which is not what we want. We want the flanger to feed into the delay. We can change this by using the arrow buttons here. Click the left arrow button and it moves it before the delay. Now all of the effects come with presets which you can change by selecting init. This stands for initial preset and pressing the left mouse button. Let's choose wanderer. That's more interesting, although it's a little shrill. So skip up to chorus, double click on that and that softened it up a bit for us. All of the tracks come with two additional effects. There's the pre-mixer right here, which feeds into all of the subsequent effects. There's also the post-mixer, which allows you to change the overall panning and volume of the track. Now let's load in a bass sample. First exit edit mode, skip over to a new track, select an empty sample slot, and choose bass hits. Double click on bass hit 01 to load it in. So far we have only been entering notes using the Z key, but in fact most of the letter and number keys on your computer keyboard refer to notes on a piano keyboard. As you can see from this image, the keys in red refer to the current octave in Renoise. The green keys refer to an octave above and the blue keys are two octaves above. For now we'll just be using the Z and Q keys, so skip to the top, set the edit step to 4, enter edit mode, and hold down Z. Now let's enter cues in between those notes. Previously I showed you how to solo a track, but you can also mute individual tracks. You can do this by either pressing M, which silences the current track that you're on, or you can left click on play on each individual track and this turns them off. Let's rename this track to bass and we can begin using automation which allows us to change the effect settings of a DSP as the pattern is playing. So let's use a filter effect. Scroll down to filter, double click on it. There are many different kinds of filter effects. The one we are going to be using is HP or high pass. This allows you to cut off the lower frequencies of sounds in this track. The parameter which we will be automating is cut off, so select automation look down for the filter effect and double click on cut off. Note the numbers across the top here. This is basically a timeline of the pattern and the numbers correspond to the numbers up and down here. The white line here is just our cursor position in the pattern which is currently at 30. In order to demonstrate how the automation works we can use the presets at the bottom here. Click on randomization and you can see it's assigned a random value on every line. Press play to hear the results skip back to track DSPs and you can see how the cutoff is now randomized. Go back to automation and click on exponential envelope. You can see how the cutoff slowly rises, accelerating as it goes until the high pass filter completely cuts off the sound in this track. That's the end for this current and short tutorial for Renoise 2.1. There is a new version of Renoise coming out very shortly, so stay tuned as there will be a whole series of full tutorials coming soon.